Hello, my name's David, and in this video I thought I'd show you my favourite way to really enhance those wonderful autumn or fall colours. But of course you can also apply this to any image where you really want to make the colours pop. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my adjustment panel. If your adjustment panel isn't open, as with all panels, you'll find it under View Studio and they'll be listed there. I'm heading down to Curves. I'm going to go with this one, which is LAB color. And when I click on it, look at the difference that's made to the image and the colors. And if I just switch it off and on, amazing, isn't it? Now to show you what I've done, I'm going to delete this. Let's start from the beginning by heading down to this icon here for the adjustments. Also available from the top menu under layer down the bottom, you'll find new adjustment layer. And with this open, we're going to head for curves. Now the standard curves dialog shows it on RGB, but if you click in the window, you've also got gray, CMYK and LAB. This is the one we're going to use. Across the master, click in here. You've got lightness, you've got A opponent, you've got B opponent, and this is what makes up the LAB. We're gonna start with the A opponent. Looking at the bottom, if I click on it, that becomes live. It's shown it as a little black grab handle. Moving it across, and you can see we introduce green into the image. Going to the opposite side, to this grab handle, clicking, showing it live, little black spot. Moving it across, we've got magenta. Now, I want to place this halfway between this line and the line here. Make sure Y is set on one. Now, on this area, I'm gonna click down, I'm going to keep the zero, but I'm going to type in eight, seven, and five. So that's 0 0.875. Enter or return. Back it goes. Heading down to the bottom grab handle. Let's click on this, making sure Y is set on zero. Coming across to the X, I'm going to click, putting it alongside. We're going to go to point one, two, seven. Once again, press enter or return and you can see those colors starting to come through and don't worry about these numbers. I will put it in the description below. Okay, now let's have a look at the B opponent. We're gonna start on the bottom. So clicking on this and if I move it across, you can see we got blue. And we're gonna put this halfway between this area and this first line here. So once again, clicking alongside, zero is showing. We're gonna put point one, two, seven enter or return and that's bringing through blue guess what color this is going to be it's going to be yellow right once again making sure you're set on one and i'm just going to click over here and just highlight this pressing delete to remove it still got that point it's important to have zero point and we're going to put in eight seven five Press enter or return and there's the colors. The good news is once you set it up, you do not need to touch it again because you can come up to add preset. Now this is the preset for the curves and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it LAB and color. And because I've already done it, I'm gonna call it two. Right, let's click okay or press enter or return. That has now been saved as a preset. We can delete this. So as we did before, adjustments coming down, you can see there it is, LAB color two. If I right click, you can also rename, you can delete if you want to. Now I'm gonna double click to bring it out. Let's go to layers, switching it off and on. There's those colors, right? Moving it to the side because there's something else. Now with master, you may remember we had lightness. Now to change this, if I click in the center, it's gonna be the little gray line that you can see, there it is now coming through. It's not this one, which is going to be master. Darken it right down, you can brighten it up. Entirely up to you with your image. I'm gonna to come to this area here, just gonna darken it down very slightly. Coming onto this point here, I'm just gonna give a little bit more brightness, perhaps something like this. Once again, switching off and on, that looks good. Let's click to accept it. That is one way you can work. And you've now changed the colors with the entire image. What I prefer to do, and just to make things a little bit quicker and easier, and to give us a comparison, I'm going to use Command J, Control J to copy this. Let's switch it off. 
Right, first of all, invert this, so it's Command I, Control I is a simple way of inverted it. You can see we've now got this black mask. The effect has now been hidden across to the toolbar. Make sure you've got the default colors. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colors. Incidentally, if you like the way that I've set up Affinity Photo, I will put it in the description below. Pick up a paintbrush, press B on the keyboard. It's the quick and easy shortcut. Head over to your brush panel. And with the brush panel, make sure you're on the basic tab. And I'm going to scroll down to this one here, the round soft brush. Now make sure you've got white as your foreground color. So I'm going to press X on the keyboard to put white as the foreground color. And I'm going to increase the size of the brush using the right hand square bracket. So taking it right up in size to something like this. I'm going to keep the opacity on 100%. And as you bring it over the area, you can see the way it's going to change it. So I'm going to click down. Let's go over this part of our leaf. That looks good. Bringing it over this one, coming over there. And this one as well, that could look really good. And you can just do a few little areas and look at the difference that makes to the image. You don't have to do the entire image. And that's what I like about this particular method. Okay, perhaps we're going to bring through a little bit more. So I'm going to drop down the opacity. Let's go for 60%. I'm going to press six on the keyboard. The opacity is now 60%. Let's give a little bit more color onto some of these little green areas here and perhaps to these leaves down the bottom part like this there. That will do nicely. So just a few little specks as we can see. You can always take a look at the mask if you press and hold down Alter Option, click on the mask, there it is. They're the ones we did at 100%. The slightly grayer ones, these were at 60%. To put the mask back in place, press and hold down Command or Control, click anywhere on this area here, that's going to put it back. Just click down again to make it live. And you can perhaps bring through a little bit more like that. And I'm still on 60%. And there it is. So let's have a quick recap. Here it is with the selective color. Really like this with this particular image. Love what it's doing around this area here. Let's switch that off. There's the original. And here it is with the full lab color. Of course, this is completely adjustable. You can always reduce down the opacity. So if ever you want to really make your colors pop, give this a try. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. If you click that little bell icon, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging, and take care.